Super Mobile Field. Welcome back, everybody. It's Ray Coggins with again, and today we are going to be uh, doing a bunch of new things. Uh, I got a few things. We, uh, well, not a few. I got a crazy amount of things on the to-do to list today. Uh, both of these geysers need to be checked because, well, 23 cycles isn't very far, but 11.9 is pretty darn close, and I don't want this endlessly pouring into here, then overfilling it and causing problems. I don't know that it will. I think we got it sealed up enough that it won't immediately be catastrophic, but uh, we got to sort that out. Um, we got to close this one up and seal it. I think what we'll do is basically something like we started here, and just kind of close it in a box and have some sort of automated system to release water naturally. I think we can just put like a, my thought is to put like a door that'll just be triggered when the water's at a certain level. And like, if there's no water in this top one, open the door, let some water pour down. If the water isn't, we'll, we'll see. <clears throat> so that's the first one, or one of the two things. Uh, our research here is almost finished on the renewable energy, and then we'll see what that takes to make those things. I think it's glass, like this stuff. <clears throat> so we might, pardon me, we might have to, oh, that was a rough throat clearing, ow. Uh, we might have to, like, dig our way into some of these to clean out some of the stuff. There's, uh, yeah, see, some of these walls are glass and some are granite. I think we can take them apart for some materials. Don't really know how much. Uh, five kilograms, that's not going to do it. Um, okay. Uh, our power system is getting overheated. Um, or not overheated. These things can handle a lot of heat, but, uh, oh, pipe blocked. Right, that's, uh, that's fine. How about this? Are we, we're going to fill these up, aren't we? We're going to fill these up. So we're going to have to set up a venting system again to let this vent some more. Uh, maybe a priority piping system rather than the hodgepodge we did. Uh, and I found out the oxygen problem. <clears throat> We've been running since, like, I don't know, cycle 10 or so off of these algae terrariums, which is fine. We have 35,000 tons still, or 35 tons still of uh, algae. But this thing right here is not on sweep only. Which means all of the piles, look, all of the piles of polluted water are down to almost nothing because they were all ripped out of there. So we'll get that back online. This is, uh, this is not going to last too long at the rate we're pumping, but that's probably okay. Actually, we also need to put an automated system on this. All right, so let's start with some of this automation and uh, get things going. We need a hydro sensor, say, here. And uh, what we'll do is say connect those. That's good. So that can be linked up. Uh, we got this sorted out mostly once they get that set up. We should be fine. Wait, what are you walking through? What do we got? There's some brine here, huh? Ah, I just noticed her cleaning off her feet there. We got a couple uh, spots of brine sitting on the ground. That's not good. Uh, let's do that. This is being deconstructed. That's fine. They'll put the power back in here. Uh, this stuff is okay over here. It'll be just a matter of um, a long time before we get any issues with that. Let's go ahead and build um, let's go ahead and build a switcheroo here where we can take this stuff out. Uh, piping, plumbing, a bridge. Do you want to take that thing out? Which one did I say? This one? <clears throat> Come on. Deconstruct it. I need that out right now. Uh, and then we'll put uh, plumbing like this. There we go. And what we can do is have. Oh, come on. We can have it go down here. Good. And then well, I might be doing a lot of pausing today because I got to get even more than my obs obsessively normal amount of pausing. Okay. So I'm going to like tell them to do things. This stuff that's unimportant it can go like kind of backwater priority, right? That's not that vital. Um, I'd almost like this to be changed up to some sort of normal washroom thing. That's, that's unimportant right now. Totally unimportant right now. Um, how are we doing on our ceramic account? We're still working on some, still punching out some copper. Good. Okay. Uh, next thing, this scenario over here needs to be tent. No, not this. I wanted to set up the fisheries today, but I think these do need to go soon. Yeah. 11.6 cycles is pretty aggressive. Um, we cleared out this, the junk that was left in here, and I've got an idea that we can... Let's start backwards. So what I want to do is have the um, have the food cooked, so the fisheries and everything cooked. This is going to be deconstructed, and we're going to put in a proper refrigeration unit in there. 
Uh, and I want to do like some automated stuff, some shipping and such. So let's put this. Um, we're going to power a lot of things here. With uh, we're going to end up using a lot more power when we're done this. So this these guys are going to be guys are be going to be pumping pretty hard to keep things going for a while until we get our solar power panels up. So that's okay. <clears throat> uh, I do need this to happen immediately because if I don't, I won't have power for the new refrigerator. Okay, don't keep loading it. Undo it. Oh, Nikola, you you poor soul. He is, he's rather beat up, isn't he? Maybe he'll get some healing when he sleeps. I hope that's how that works. Honestly, don't know. I haven't had them... Honestly, I haven't had any of them die from injury. Hey, you were, you were taking that apart for me, bud. Okay, what do we got for a printable? Ooh, 2,000 kilograms of gold amalgam. Actually sounds very valuable. We could get another digger with iron gut... Uh, decreased agriculture, but another... You know what? We're starting to increase our printables. All right. So you're going to have to have a schedule, if I remember. We don't have... We do have room for some more people. That's fine. So you can go in uh, second shift. Trivaldo, welcome to the team. He'll take a bed right up here. He'll probably auto-assign, but that's okay. We'll assign that to him. Lovely, we got a new member. All right, so now this is here. What I want to do now is put in a... Uh, specialized food storage and there we go we have 118,000 kilocalories um, the lice the meal lice and the muck roots don't need to be stored the meat doesn't need to be stored over here because they're not gonna eat the meat directly let's double check our consumables here um, honestly does muck root ever go off I don't know uh, we're not gonna eat any meal lice anymore I do not want them touching that It'll just, it'll just let it rot. In fact, hmm, in fact, let's go ahead and harvest everything here. Does that work? No, it doesn't, does it? Uh, nope, uproot is the command. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, well, this whole thing needs to go away. But I don't, I, like, I don't want them working on these at all. Do I? You know what? I'll let them. Oh, what I'll do for now, just to avoid excess work, is I will switch the priority for these down to basically nothing. So they're not going to work on that unless the somebody with a farming job has zero other things to do. Okay, so this power, this will power the refrigerator. Great. Uh, and then backing down the line, we're going to have over here. We're going to have a food, another refrigerator, right here, and that's going to be for our. Uh, that's going to be for our food stuff. No, not there. That's too close. Uh, there's got to be a door there first, because I've got a plan. Probably not. It's probably going to make you all shake your head and be like, oh my gosh, she's doing it again. Can't you do things normally, man? Yeah, probably not. Uh, conductive wire needs to be over here. Um, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to cut this switch out entirely, this switch out entirely, and just run... That right there. That can go. These can go. Those can go. I'll fix that in a moment. Uh, this whole system along here can go to, say, there. And all those can go away. Good. Any other regular power lines that need to be replaced with conductive wire? Yeah, up here. And over here. Oh, no. This one can go away entirely. Or can it? Yes. Yes, it can. Uh, these guys aren't even connected, weirdly enough. Um, okay, so that goes away as well. And then we take a conductive wire and we connect to these like that. Good. All of this regular wire is fine because it's just run off of this beast over here. There's no point in overkilling it. Uh, this guy is not on a conductive wire, but I'm probably going to have a main trunk line coming the opposite direction. So we'll probably be okay there. Are we are we doing research? We're almost done the research. Nice. Go, Frankie, go. Wait, did I just pause? I just unpaused? I thought I just paused. Alright. So, keep the work going. Apparently you are still got priority clean jobs in there. That's a little weird. Uh, body temperature. Oh boy, why is that so Oh, it's freezing. No, we don't have any... We don't feed it water. Oh, there's something cold in here. What is it? What is so cold? Mafic rock at minus... Oh, that's... Wait a second. They don't use mafic rock. 
They use dirt. So somewhere we've got dirt that's hyper cold. That's an interesting twist. Hmm. Never would have thought that was... Well, that's fine. Honestly, that's okay if those get shut down. But that's something to note. I didn't think of that. We probably pulled some cold dirt from somewhere up here that was, like, blisteringly cold and then stuck it in the plants and now the soil's all like, I can't handle this. Makes sense. How are we, do how are we doing on this guy up here? 11.4. So we're not we're not fa passing time very, fa very fast here. Alright, so, except for Sparkle Streaker there, who has taken definitely some fast time. A lot I have to fix up in here. I want to get to it right now, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna short-term hold off on this. Um... I think I need to fix this system entirely before I can do the rest of it, so we'll come back to that. How are we doing on work jobs? We got some cooking going on still. Good. Now these delivery times are gonna have to be fixed. Uh, let's put another door over here. I want to also have a shipping arm that's going to move food. Why don't we add the egg cracker? Switch these around. This thing can go away. And this thing can go away. And then we can have them crack the eggs and they'll automatically be put into the cooker. Cookery thing. I like that. Bump, bump, bump. Good. Uh, that can probably go away because it's not needed there. But it will be needed there. Nope, on the other spot. Like that. Okay. Now, uh, cooking, cooking, cooking. We had an egg cracker that needs to go in here. Okay, and then we have a station I need to replace somewhere over here. I'm not sure that that's vitally a great spot for it, but that's okay. Uh, I'm also going to have a look here. What are we, what are we frying up? So... I'd like to keep going on the glossy Dracos. Do I need glossy Dracos? How are we gonna tell if <clears throat> How are we gonna tell if the glossy Dracos are Um Need replacing what, what's going on here? Why do we not have any Oh. Maybe we do stone Dracos. Uh stone uh whatever they are. Stone hatchlings. Okay, let's do that for now. This can stay on and this can stay on. Alright, so we're making more hatchlings, more stones, and more fish. We won't do any more uh, of these guys right now. We got eight of them in there. Seems to be okay. Alright, how are we doing on the food supply system? Oh, let's go guys, come on. Lots of things to take apart, lots of work to be done cleaning up and all that jazz. That's fine. He's picking up a bunch of copper to take elsewhere. Good. We got these lines going in, all that stuff's been cleared out now. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so this food thing here, now, we're going to go cooking ingredients in here. Uh, no medicine. We'll have edibles, but it'll only be, uh, like, bristleberries and, let's see, meat and paku fillets. Not gristleberries. This is the uncooked stuff goes in here. Excellent. So, uncooked food will go in here. And hopefully this thing will grab from the refrigerator, I'm thinking, or from the ground after they crack eggs, and put them into the grill. That's my thoughts. I don't know if that's the way that works, but I think it's the way that works. We'll see. What do we got? Oh, solar panel research is done. And the steam turbine. Nice. Uh, why do I not have... Oh, boy. I have no power anywhere. What has happened to my power systems? Oh, no. Pipe's probably locked, right? Is that what's happening? Yep. Yeah. Probably that's what's happening. I made this. Oh, I did. You guys are just sitting there like, dude, you suck at this. I know it. I know it. I feel your scorn. It's it's deserved. Um, I went and put in liquids. <laughs> the liquid bridge isn't going to do great for my uh, for my pipe works here. So let's uh, let's fix that up. <laughs> I fixed the problem, guys. Do that, and then uh, a ventilation, proper vented bridge. Right in there. Good, and then we can have our gas vent there. Lovely. Okay, there was also a suggestion about having oxygen in this area up here, and I could extend... What I could do is just extend this, and then put in a door. But honestly, it's just going to draw power that we can't really afford, don't really want to bother with. And from here, they still have full oxygen. Like th this tile right here is oxygen. Oxygen. It's polluted, but they're not they're they're not 
stopping to catch their breath. They just jump up, go in, and then they hit the tank. And it's only Frankie with the research for now. Oh, right. With the research for now. So we knew we do now have more research options. Um, I think we need to get that glass going. Is that in here? Superheated forging. Yes, glass forge, uh, bunker tile, bunker door, and the gantry for spacecraft. Our first actual structure-related spacecraft, I think. So let's do that research. Um, he'll, he'll piddle away at it. Uh, I don't really need, oh, where's our priorities? I want, like, nobody doing researching except for him, eh? Like, everything else should be, like, hyper low priority. Very low priority. In fact, everybody else should be no prior, no work at all. Except for Frankie. Because Frankie's our epic researcher with, uh, 21 skill in research. And, uh, nothing else needs to happen. Or no one else needs to work on it. Okay, going well so far. About 15 minutes in and we're still cranking, I like that. We haven't looked at duplicate skills for a long time. Some of them are starting to really stack up. Uh, but I'm not confident in my system for providing, like, there, some of these are in the 20s, right? 29 morale, and but I don't think Frankie's going to stay at 29 morale. Like, I really don't think we're there yet. Um, is there anybody that's, yeah... Rivaldo is brand new, so he's going to need his uh, diggy diggy skills. And I, th I think we don't need to overdo much other than that. Um, maybe a tinkering skill here to... Oh, mechatronics engineer would be... Another one of those would be good. Ari's our uh, food master. You like tidying, do you? Mm, okay. 14? 17? That's really high. She's now like one of the highest. Uh, improve farming three. Frankie, you're the research. We already did that. Hassan is doing all this other stuff, and honestly, we don't need any more than that. I mean, we could do like hard digging or something like that for him to keep that rolling, but I don't think that's urgent. Uh, Lyra is our cook. Mechatronics engineer. No, you're going to stay as cook. I'm not giving you mechatronics, otherwise you'll go off and do that stuff, and that's not that important for you. Um, good. Nicola. Nicola could be... He's gonna get real high if I do that. Yeah, baby. No, he's gonna get really... His morale is gonna hit, like, mmm, lots. Nicola, this is gonna take, like, six... No, three points. Okay. Three, so three. Why is that only three? Hmm. Why is this only three? Is this a passion for his? No, it's not. Why is that only three points? Some of these are like usually six point. Or maybe it's counting all the way there. Oh, it's counting all the way there. Oh, I was misunderstanding that system. I thought this was, this cost you one and this cost you three and this cost you six. It doesn't, this cost you one, this cost you two, making a total of three, this cost you six, uh, three, making a total of six. Aha, aha, makes more sense now. All right, I'll let them continue that. I have misinformed you all. I've lied, I'm so sorry. Um, okay, so two more things we need in here. We're gonna need a, um, well, we're gonna need a base. I don't know that we needed this much space, actually. I'm gonna put that guy in there for now. Uh, and all it's gonna do is pick up the fish eggs from elsewhere. Um, and then I'm gonna have the drop-off for the extra fishy thing. This is gonna be our fish out of water tank. This is gonna be Floppyton here. It's gonna be great. I, I think it's going to be ridiculous, but we'll see. Uh, water is still pumping through here. Why is this not done? This needs to be done. So we have a... Uh, so when it drops down below this level, it'll just shut off. We're doing okay over here. We're just still pumping out germ-free water through the system. That's great. We are germ-free entirely over here. So I'm going to make a fish tank off this way, but that'll mean cleaning this a bunch of this stuff out here. What are you... Oh, you're just losing... Power just arbitrarily sitting there losing power. That's fine. We're gonna actually take you apart because you're gonna be off the system anyways. Uh, in fact, all of this is gonna go away. Right? All of this. Yoink. Go away. Uh, there as well. Ventilation. Oh, I won't. I won't do any more than that. We'll just take that much out for now. Uh, this unit is going to need to be cleaned up as well before we do the other stuff. Um, 
And then this has to actually be connected to the grid, I think, is the right way to do this. Uh, that's an odd wire still sitting there. How are we, where are we going to connect it? Probably this top grid here. <clears throat> we'll connect it in here, yes. Yes, we will. Conductive wire, deconstruct. Make sure we're using copper for these. I think some of these came out as gold, which is a little weird. Um, I know, oh, hi, oh, hi. That's a little, yoo-hoo. Uh, this is going to come out this way. And, um, since these will not be operating unless under load, we'll do that. And I will actually do... that. But first we will how take the power out of this entirely. Okay. No, that's not gonna work. Regular wire needs to be deconstructed there as well. Good. And uh, this can be open. Or auto, doesn't matter. They're all off-powered anyways. Hey! Oh, wait, did we connect this? Yes, so the hydro sensor, when the, when the water level here is shut off, if the water level is below, let's say, 250. Now, let's just go right down to, like, 100. So is the bottom, he pulls from the bottom layer, right? So as long as there is a top layer here, shouldn't he be turned off? Oh, send a green signal when it's, um, yeah. No, when it's a above 100 kilo. So as long as there is 100 here, it should send a green signal. There we go. Shuts the pump off immediately, and these sieves then shut down. Right? Okay. So this whole system's going to shut down because there's plenty of water in here right now. We're at uh, basically uh, 2,500 ish per vertical, if that makes sense. So the top layer is at about half full. That's okay. These guys are starting to uh, put their polluted water or oxygen out. We're we're only about 40 kilograms per cycle short of uh, full there, which is fine. Our little Swedel guy is still doing his thing. He's just running around. We, he doesn't have any... There's no chance I don't think that he'll produce any eggs because he's not being fed. We don't, I don't think we even have sulfur, so... Not a concern to deal with right now. Why is that still there? Because I missed... Prioritizing it. That and that needs to happen. Okay. You're good. Good, good, good. Uh, still punching away over here. We gotta set this guy up. Is he... He's already set up with his temperature thing. Oh, no, he's not. Ah, yes, right. Okay. Uh, definitely needs a sorting here. Let's see. We'll give access to this. And we'll start cleaning up that mess. We got a few things down here that need to be cleaned up. This is taking polluted ice, but we'll put it to... Yeah, it is on sweep only. So we'll clean up the junk here then. I think we should take the, like, the mafic rock and toss it in there. But I don't know if we can control the temperature of that stuff. Because what if there's mafic rock in, like, hot places? Is that a thing? I do not know. I only see, like, a couple spots with it. Wolframite... It was around here somewhere, wasn't it? Where are you mafic rocks? Why is that cracking abyssalite? Weird. Hold on a second. Why is this abyssalite cracking? Under what kind of pressure is there? Holy Moses. No, there's not a ton of pressure there. That's weird. Um, where's the mafic rock? There it is. That's mafic rock. It is this light grayish thing. Is it only in, uh, in these zones? That are cold? I think it is. It might also be the source of the cold. I don't know how they, they process that. Uh, over here, yeah. This is surrounded by hot, but some of the mafic rock here is not hot. You know what? For now, I think we'll use that to... No, it's fine. I just need to get the mafic rock out of this base. So, uh, where do we put it? I think we'll put it up here. So I will swap one of those in there. Now they don't, they can't contr be controlled automated wise unless they're powered. And I think that's the, <laughs> sparkle strikers. Uh, I think that's the deal there. So, oh, nice, nicely done. Thank you. We appreciate it. 
Good work, Frankie. I'm not sure why you're not doing research, but that's okay. Uh, there is a piece here that's not connected. That should be now. There you go. Boom. Now the pump is working. What else do we have in here that needs to be needs to be removed? I can probably manual that. Sweep it all up. We got abyssalite, polluted ice, polluted water, but pump. Okay. Should be okay. Let them clean up that stuff. That's great. Okay, so that system will work now. And then we'll remove this uh, piece right here and we'll let it go back to its work. That sounded like somebody just got smacked in the head. Oh, so it must have been one of those stone things spawning. <laughs> that was really loud. Thump. All right, so that's getting put in place too. Excellent. We're gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start removing these. They can all go actually. That as well. Um, do I want stuff dropping through here? Probably the answer is no. Let's start making a uh, splash guard here so we stop doing this junk. Because I'm going to do more work up top, and this is just going to make a nasty mess if we don't. And there we go. Get rid of that. The fish are just going to have to deal with it. Um, over here somewhere is where we're going to put the fishy tank in. So let's... Uh, this is all done? Good. You are going to be a collector of... Um... Fry. Just the fries, please. Good, and it's not on sweep only. Okay, good. Do that. Um, so the fry will be dropped off there. Now this thing, we do have the bristle berries, the meat, and the paku fillets. Good. They'll be dumped there. This is not powered. We need to set up the power for this one and the other one. Uh, that's convenient. Thank you. Um, and this will just have to be, I guess, fed this way. It's a little ugly, but at least it's conductive wire. It's not as ugly as some of them. Uh, filter not designated. Okay, so what we're doing over here is just barbecue. Not bristle berries. We like cooked fish and gristle berry. Those are the only thing. Oh, and omelets, if we make omelets. Those are the only four things we want them to be eating from. Right? And that should be confirmed with what we've got them set to eat here. Uh, you don't take that. Don't take that. Don't eat that. They don't need to be stored, so they don't need to be eaten. Mushrooms is fine. They can eat. I don't care about mushrooms. We're not doing that. So gristle berries, omelets, cooked fish, barbecue. That's it. Good. That should help the morale if we can keep them eating just those things. Because the gristle berry is better than the bristol berry. All right. Good, good, good. Sorting that out. Deconstruct that unnecessary extra. This is the blight of, that was mentioned in the comment section. You guys have been really helpful in the comments about different things. About how to set up and deal with some of the fishy things and other stuff. It's great. Thank you so much. Uh, this now is going to come across to connect that, and I'm going to put a switch in so that I can manually control that, just this thing, from outside the room. Let's make that happen, and then I can close this room up again. Okay. Go, go, go. Good job, guys. Thanks, Turner. You're a champ. Really should get in the habit of opening the doors when we're going to be coming in and out anyways. <clears throat> All right. Out you go, sir. Out you go. Okay, this is now to be locked. Okay, and this thing is now going to... Um, it's still got hydrogen going to the north. That's fine. Uh, this guy can be shut off. And then, then you should be powered, yes? Disabled by automation. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, that's not going to work. How do I do that? I can give him a green... If I connect these, does that switch it? It does. Excellent. All right. Then we'll just have to adjust that again later. So that's all locked up, and now this should vacuum out. Relatively quickly, it looks like. Good. Okay. Next thing is that I need these to change. And then we got to measure out what we're doing here. Oh, looks like we got it working. Look, look, look. It's moving things. Aha, nice. Okay. So, uh, I don't know if it's moving the right things, but it's moving things. So this is going to be where we're going to be doing our, our fish production. This will be our fish factory over here. So there, so this tile right here is the edge of all things. Um, I think what I'll do is have a mesh tile on the top so that the water can go over, but not... 
but not through. And we'll probably have to have a manual door? Do you have a manual one or an automated one? I think we'll do an automated one without power for that. And I'm going to need one up here to control their access to. So there you go. That and that. Good. So this is going to have to be in here for uh, fish drop. It'll control the fishy droppiness. Uh, and then we go automation. I need a critter sensor. Yeah, there it is. Somewhere in this room. Honestly, uh, I think anywhere in this room is fine. Uh, is this going to reach everywhere? Hold on. Yeah, that'll reach the whole room. That's good. And then we got a fish drop off. Is that what it's called? A fish release. It can go in here. You know, that's not powered and it's not going to be powered. But it can be automated, right? <laughs> this is ideas that run through my head and they're probably really dumb. Okay, so this if this is automated, we can control the critter count and say... I think he's actually building that right now. Nope, he was just delivering stuff? That's fine. Wing! We get the sound of another duplicate option. Now, oh, a care package for wart seed. Uh, that's, that's an absolute, I don't care who else is coming, we're taking that. Because that's a wheeze wart that will make one of these things operate. Nice. Look at that. Should be on the way. Excellent. Uh, so we'll get a little more cooling in there. We could use another one of those RNG gods. Please. Please to help us. I uh, don't need to deal with any of that. Okay. So this is the plan. Lock the, Whoever's in here gets locked in here when it's done. Well, that was unfortunately low numbers. Alright, so there's two of them in there. I think what we'll do with this critter count is, um, I think maybe, let's say, when, send a green signal if we are below four, which should, if I understand, it's not count eggs, should be, um, yeah, just critters in here, so that'll be babies and adults. If the signal is below four, now it's counting everything in here because this wall's not done yet, so let's finish that wall. As soon as that's, that's a weird... It's a wet piece of construction there, that's fine. There we go. Oh, I can't get to that. Uh, well, I'll put a ladder in there rather than breaking the um, vacuum. <clears throat> Alright, so if this, thi this thing is send a green signal, if the critter counter is below four, which means that we'll uh, operate this thing. Now, it has the automation wire in it, so it's automatically locked, and that's all I needed it to do. Uh, then this thing can say you can have Paku fries, and I guess Paku, but it doesn't matter. Because we never have them trapped. Never have them unless we've trapped them. Aha, see? Now it's saying, ah, there's only two now in this, because this is now a, a proper room, once that was closed in. I like it. Uh, we'll deconstruct this, though. Hopefully we'll have enough eggs. Hopefully we've got some eggs in there to make, to keep, uh, yeah, we got some incubating up there. Okay, now we need a feeder for these little fishes. I think this is going to work. Fish feeder. There. Excellent. We'll give them some seeds, because these guys should already, be, of course, be tamed. Right? So we don't need to do... I'm, I'm told that algae's needed to tame... Oh, look! It's a wet tile, which means there's probably no airflow through that mesh tile. That's fine. Don't care about that. There we go. Feeder's on, and it's now opened again, because this thing has now said, Ah, this is the room you want? Good. So the critter sensor... This is weird. This, this sensor here... I've always been confused as heck about this. If you mouse over here, it explains what the confusion is. This container is storing zero critters in the maximum of 20 critters. It's a container that's a tube. You stick a thing in the top, it falls out the bottom. So this is never going to actually contain anything. This is not the count of things in the room like these guys are. That's what I made. The, the critter drop-off has a count of the number of units. No, that's not. When you mouse over it, does it tell you? No, where is it? Here. When you mouse over it, it says storing, but this is counting the number of stored critters in the room. Same description. It says the container is storing them, which it's not, but this room is the container it's counting on. This thing is actually only counting this this, this item itself. So it is a it is a mix-up because this thing has the same wording, but it functions differently. This is, this will go from to one of 20 as a fish gets dumped off and falls through, and then it'll go back to zero of 20. So this max doesn't matter as long as it's above zero. It could be 100, 
or 20, I guess, or zero, or one. Does not matter at all. It's not counting the room, it's not counting any of that. Which is a little weird. I, I don't know. It just seems like a dumb choice. But anyways, uh, what we want here is Paku Feed. And we're not doing LJ. I think we'll do uh, Bloom Seeds, Briar Seeds. We don't really need the Briars right now. Uh, Mealwood Seeds. Let's do the Pepper Seeds. for No, it's not. Let's do... We do make thimble reed seeds, don't we? I mean, technically we should be making having a few. Now nah, we'll leave them. Definitely not wart seeds. Um, the blossoms and where's the and mealwood are basically the ones that we're producing. That's fine. And uh, I don't know that it matters if we check this. Does this? If we have the supply of this stuff, which can be eaten by a paku fry, the baby ones. And it's available only under the Paku list. Do I need to duplicate it down here? I don't know. I'm going to. Uh, so I don't cause myself grief later. But that's just a weird question in my head. Alright, now this is going to be top priority building. This is going to be top priority building. But this one is not, not exactly controlled. It's indirectly controlled. Access to it will be locked when this critter count uh, triggers. That's awesome. Now we just need a couple more things to do here, and then we can lock the door on this one. Uh, that's not going to be powered. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Um, I wanted... Well, that's going to have to be... Then... Oh, no, that doesn't work that way. Because that's going to be behind the switch. Well... Let's do that. That's fine. It's a little extra cabling, but that's fine. All right, now let's finish that off. I'm not even getting to half the work I need to do up top. There we go. These little guys now have food. Um, nom 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 nom. Ah, thanks, guys. Nice and full. Now let's go ahead and I don't need to do any of that. I was just about to uh, dig that up. I don't need to. Uh, then I guess all we need is the output for the shipping. So a conveyor loader is going to go in here. Uh, let's say there is fine. And the rail can go up like this. That far for now. The ladder should reach all that. I don't know if it does. So we'll put another ladder in here. There you go. He's going to pick up some stuff and try to... But he can't. Try to put it somewhere. There's a fish fry. So what this thing's going to do is clean up everything. And uh, dump it up here when we're done. So let's get that shipping connection made. So it's going to bring the fishies. Uh, where do we want this? Let's go right down. No, nope, let's not, because that might be extra confusing. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. And that. Okay, now, prioritize the inside workings here, please. So it's inside this area because I want to close this up right away. Rails going in. Good. There. Excellent. A couple more. We got, already have a fish, a fry down here. Nice. Just started incubating, I believe. Yeah, is that 7? 8%. Like 20% per cycle. They grow really fast on their own. Um, but that's fine. We need to take them out of there when they're babies. So the deal here is. This is going to be anything in this area can be swept up. Anything. Doesn't matter what it is. Stone, eggshells, doesn't matter. Okay, you've already picked up everything and you've dropped it in here. This thing has a capacity of, I don't know, a thousand, thousand kilos. So that's fine. He'll, he'll take polluted dirt soon too. Is this all working now? Yeah, oh, it's not powered yet. It needs power as well. Jeepers, that's power hungry day, isn't it? All right, that's the last ingredient right there to, uh, to this project. So they poop out polluted dirt, these guys. This paku, which is great. That'll be our our uh, food source for our plants later. For the seeds, they basically poop out dirt. That dirt's polluted dirt. That polluted dirt can be cleaned, I suppose, right? And then turned into a bit of dirty water. And oh, we got a lot of idols, don't we? Eight idol dupes right now. Jeepers, guys. Okay, get up here and get the work started then. Um, uh, yeah, they, they 
pump, pump out a little bit of dirt that should be enough to feed a bit a few plants like these things so that we can get the seeds out of them and then feed them back to them as seeds. That's probably an insignificant topic though. All right, I think this is entirely done, so we're going to lock this door. So this should automate itself from now on. Correct? Ah, this is pump is not in gas, that's good. So you're good there. All right, how are we doing on the hydrogen? If I go in here, and we disconnect this wire. And we reconnect that wire. The pump should be turned off. Yep, it's inputting a red signal now. The timer is on. And then I just need to turn this beast back on. And it will start pumping a little bit of hydrogen up there. But more importantly, it'll start oxygenating this space, right? Disabled by automation grid? Oh, that's fine. Doesn't need to have much air in here. That should be good now. Yep, this is all full of oxygen with a tiny speckle of hydrogen in here. Yep, that's fine. So it'll suck up, when this thing runs, it'll pump up the hydrogen up there when it's turned on. If the if this triggers like right here is oxygen, if the pressure is not high enough to keep this top row full, which it's more than enough right now, uh, it'll trigger on again. So that's now all dormant. So the all three of these are not drawing any power, even though they're connected, which is great. This guy's still on because the critter is saying there's now a three count in here. Oh really? We have three in here. Where did this, oh look at that? Somebody dropped off a paku fry. Good. So that thing is now like not top priority, but locked behind a door. Ah, that was the other thing I needed in here. Um, did we collect all the eggs? We did. Okay, so this is now deconstruct, please. So I just wanted the eggs out of there, and then we're going to do an attack order without putting our almost dead guy. Who's <laughs> who's injured? Where's Nicola? What's his health like? He's in, he's in some hurting situation. Okay, so you, Nicola, you're not going to be... You're not going to be hunting. Okay. Rivaldo, you can do the hunt for now. Good, I like that. And you're also going to be digging, of course. I forgot to set up his priorities. That's okay, that's why we have the defaults. Alright, so, then we're going to do one last fishy thing and take all of this and hunt it all. Clearing them all out, so there'll be no more fish to be hunted. Everybody that's idle should go down there, so it shouldn't be just a, one or two of them doing the hunt. It's going to be a mass extinction event. Paku fry for everybody. I mean, Paku filet for everybody. This is too good to watch, to not watch. It's fantastic. These, the, these three over here are like, I'm trapped. Oh, wait, I'm still alive. I'm glad I was trapped. It's great. One, two, three of them still in here. And the little fry needs to go too. Sorry, guy. Somebody's coming, coming for you. Eventually, somebody's coming for you. Nicholas is so hurt right now. We need to get him a bed. <laughs> That's terrible. Bam. All right, that should clean it out. Now, how are we doing on time? We're, all, we're pretty much done for today, but I want to set up the plan for this first because that was on the to-do list. So uh, I'm thinking what we're going to do is have like three to each side and then this, and I want like a two like that, and then we'll uh, disconnect those. Take all that out of there and put in... Uh, Something like this as well. Then get up to the top there from the bottom. And there. And then I want a mechanized door there. It doesn't have to be powered, but it has to be mechanized. And then what we'll do is uh, dig out everything else in the middle. Which, of course, we can't do with these because that's not diggable. Alright, you are all now second from the highest priority in case I had something else going. And, uh, except for this guy, of course, he needs to stay on, oops, priority one. Okay, all that done there, and then we need an automation wire to run down here. Not into that thing. Let's run it down this way. And then somewhere, like, over here, and I can remove this, probably, not yet. What's this? Oh, I, did I not do the... Did I do the polluted water thing at the beginning? Yes, I put on sweep only. Okay. 
That's fine. You need to be Brian over here. You're all Brian. Apparently I checked into it. Brian and Saltwater are very different. Um, and not in reality. Brian is, is I guess, Brian would be taking salt, putting it into water, any kind of salt, putting it into water and shaking it up, you know, mixing it salt into water. Whereas salt water from, like, seawater, they're going to have different concentrations. They're going to function chemically differently and thermally differently. But in game, they're two entirely separate items that can't be mixed. Apparently, salt water, one of them doesn't solidify, and one of them wastes the salt. I forget which one it is. If it does have a state change to a, a gas or to a li or to a solid, so yeah, you gotta gotta be careful with those. But it's not a vitally urgent thing at all. All right, now all of this I eventually want to have cleaned up. Um, I think maybe we put a container with some mealwood seeds over here. So the board guys can keep doing their, their thing. Set that up. And then uh, what I'm going to do is duplicate this up top. That one out, please. Uh, and this honestly can just have a manual airlock once they remove that one. Please to remove this first. There we go. And then we'll put a manual airlock up here for getting in and out of the area. Perfect. So that's what we'll do there, and we'll just basically duplicate this process up here. Um, let's see, hold on a second. We'll put the automated one like three tiles off there. And then I will go, what are we, two tiles above? Third tile above this thing. Across there. And then these connect this way. So three, four down here. So there's three on either side, just, just for symmetry. Uh, we'll do that for now. How long do we have on this? 18 cycles there, and you've got six and a half cycles. So they should finish that up in the 6.7 cycles. Uh, and then a manual door up here. And what I'm going to do actually is probably ladder. Let's ladder here. Straight down into this beast. And then we will um, take out like that. Let's put in the drop, the, what it's, what's it called? The fireman's pull. Fire pole. Where the heck is it? Fire pole right there. Like that. And we'll put one here too. And I guess we'll probably put one here too. There we go. Actually, this thing needs to go away. Uh, it's not going to go away. Oh, it will when they deconstruct that. We'll see. Uh, and then I'll dig these out. Just giving them some orders for later. That's going to drop a bunch of polluted water down somewhere. But it, we've got it closed now, so we're not going to keep dropping messing messes like, you know, might have been doing before. Uh, I did want this set up with Mafic Rock. Where is that? Miscellaneous, organic, raw materials, Mafic Rock. So it'll drop the cold into there, and I need to pump this thing out very soon. Because this is all the wrong stuff. We, what we're going to have in this basin is... Uh, is it brine that it puts out? They are periodically with freezing brine. It's 10.7 kilograms per second at minus 10. So it's, what is it, twice this power of this thing? Close to that? Yeah, it's more than twice the power, the production per, when it's running. But I don't know, have we, yes, we've been analyzed. Oh, it's way less. Oh my, it's way less. Uh, it's almost half the time operating. This one is two-thirds of the time operating. And it puts out at about... When it erupts, it's erupting like 50% of the time versus this one that's erupting a quarter of the time. So the amount per eruption period is doubled, but the eruption periods are quarter are halved. So sort of, not even actually. So this one's actually going to put out less product than this one will, which is okay with me. Uh, as long as it makes some in here that's got some volume to it, and we can do some uh, coldness to it. That should allow us to have a separated cooling system from this one. So basically, this thing's going to run the main interior base cooling. We might even extend it over here. Whereas this guy's going to be like for industrial cooling like this. Or if we have an industrial like uh, factory for manufacturing and stuff like that. Like when we get our smelting going. Alright, so they're cleaning this out. Now all this stuff is falling. That's okay. And uh, they'll sort that out next episode. So thank you, everybody, so much for joining me. Uh, sorry for this being later in the afternoon. And thank you so much for all the feedback everybody's been giving. 
uh, really helps. What do you think of our fish situation? Is it going to work? What did I mess up? Not did I, but what did I mess up on this? We'll see. Oh, I was going to put the... That's the last thing I did leave, is this. The fishy release point. No, that's not the one. Fishy release point right there. Or there. Is that going to fit? Hold on. No, he's got to be... He can't be up there. Oh, that top actually hit counts, really. Okay, so it's four tiles high. That's fine. Or was it... It wasn't occupied because of the person there, was it? Nope, that's fine. So we'll put it there. It'll. Uh, that's where they'll drop the fishies when they are done in here, if this is not available. Excellent. Well, thank you, everybody, so much for joining me. Hope you guys have yourselves a fantastic rest of the day. We'll see you in game.